Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 3 episode 2 of High School Musical, the musical, the series. Uh, this time the title of the episode is Into the Unknown. And we're here, we are back, and we are ready for a new episode of High School Musical, the musical, the series. Uh, we know, or at least I know, I think you guys also know that uh, Nini, right? The actress who plays Nini. Uh, what is her name? Olivia something. Rodrigo. Uh, she's no longer a series regular. She's, she made a guest appearance. I don't know what that... I, don't, I think that she was on tour or something like that. You guys mentioned that. But it's not like Nini was my favorite character. So it's not like I am like, oh, so sad. If Gina was to be... Like, if she was gone, then I will suffer. You know what I mean? But thank God it's not Gina. Anyways, but like, we had a love triangle kind of last season. Or, you know, with Nini... Well, I, I love Triangle I Invented, I think. <laughs> With Nini, uh, Gina, and Ricky, kind of, because Gina never got in the middle of that. But now, Gina is with EJ, which is, like, random as fuck. And just because two characters are straight doesn't mean that they have to be together. But, you know, sometimes writers make basic decisions. You know, and he, but she's happy with that, and I'm, I always will ship Gina with happiness at the end of the day. Uh, but my boy Ricky arrived at, at camp, so... And he was with the other, uh, the, the, the blonde chick. Lily, I think was her name. That doesn't matter anymore, because now there's a love triangle here, and I'm rooting for Rena to happen, because it has to happen. There's no reason why they can't happen now that Nini is gone. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, I'm excited and I hope you guys are excited as well. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love High School Musical, the musical, the series. And if you're a Rina fan, please show some love to this video because I want to know how many more of us are there out there. I can't be the only one. I know I'm not the only one. But I want to know. I want to know. So give it a little thumbs up. Hearts if you're on Patreon. Continue supporting for more. By the time that you're watching this on YouTube, I'm probably done with the entire series. Waiting for season four. Like you guys. So stay tuned for that. Uh, so go there, actually. And check it out if, in case you guys want it. But for now, that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with season three, episode two of High School Musical, The Musical, the series. Here we go. AJ's hair. I like it, by the way. Couldn't sleep? I figured I'd get a start on panicking early. You know. Yeah. Why seeing not? as I'm now the one who has to direct the first ever student production of Frozen that will air in, I don't know, 63 countries. Well, I <laughs> am not panicking at all. I'm sorry, can I just believe in the potential of my incredibly smart, wildly talented boyfriend? We forgot handsome. You <laughs> managed to be extremely humble for about five seconds. Uh, New record. Yeah, true. Can you believe Ricky showed up? Oh, when are you going to tell everyone you're directing the show? Oh, someone evaded the question. Oh, we see you, Gina. We see you. <laughs> Soon. The, the ad auditions. But... <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad you're hearing the bugle. A what? It's like a I have like a LGBT kind of feeling with that girl. I don't know about you guys. But from one LGTB to another. Just saying. <laughs> so what's the deal? I thought you were gonna be with young Cersei Lannister <laughs> and sightseeing and terrorizing innocent townspeople. <laughs> Young Cersei Lannister. Yes. Yes. That is a perfect description. Love it. Uh, Ricky, I know at school you always somehow fall backwards into a lead role, but you can't just Zephron your way through auditions this time. I'm not going to Zephron. <laughs> fine. Fine. I learned the, the two guys' names. One is, I want to say, Gary. 
none of them are Gary. There are no Garys. It's freaking Norway, Ricky. I'm kidding. I know their names. Who? Oh. Mm. What? C- Carlos? What? That's Jet. I don't think he's slept or spoken in the last 24 hours. There's a high chance he's the Babadook. <laughs> hey, little guy. <laughs> let him be. Let I him be. Can't... You know, let him be. <laughs> I mean, they're being nice and all that, but like, let him be. Like, he's processing shit, you know? So Cam's a little more rustic than I thought <laughs> But hey. Aren't we all entitled to a little bit of drama on audition day? <laughs> do, you, do either of you have a phone on you? <laughs> She's going through withdrawals. I'm finally ready to play the lead. No apologies, no prisoners. So you're going for Elsa? Sounds like you brought Gina 1.0 to camp. No, but I just feel like I need to stand on my own this summer, you know? Especially yeah. with the whole documentary thing, like that could literally be our future. I mean, I love the fact that we are in the high school musical, the musical, the series, who is now producing Frozen, the musical, and also the series. What the fuck? Like, imagine if I put that in the title. Like, YouTube has like a hundred character, you know, thing. So imagine that. <laughs> I'm stepping out, don't know what I'll discover. You're a star, baby, you're a star. Woohoo! A fucking queen. That's who she is. A fucking queen. Ah! Ah! Okay. <laughs> Do we freak out? Do we start to freak out? They have to confront their feelings. No Nini on sight. No Nini on sight. If she shows up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really be pissed. By the way, it says guest appearance, so that means that she's not gonna be here all the time, right? I mean, go off, Olivia Rodrigo. I don't know what she's doing though. I'm not a fan, but like, go off, do your thing. As long as I get this two together. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hawk. Okay. <laughs> Can we just start over? Yes. Oh, what? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> no, Ricky, that's what I was trying to say. Can the two of us start over? Duh. Duh. Right. Back in LA, where it all began. We are definitely not old enough to be going to our 20 year college reunion. I still feel like I'm 18. Which makes no sense because 18 year olds couldn't possibly have. I thought, I thought Nini wasn't going to be here at all, but like, hello. What are they, are they gonna tell her who? Hey baby, um, do you remember this, our friend Marvin? The sperm sure. Donner was? I that guy. I was like four. <sighs> Why? Uh, do you remember when you were young and you once asked about the donor we used for you and I told you that it was a stranger, but it was Marvin. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. She just told her who her. Like the sperm donor, right? Because I don't want to say parent because he's not a parent to her. He's not the dad, he's the sperm donor. Man, am I psyched for auditions! Maybe we'll get to play the male leads together again, huh? Those guys. There's two of them. They're uh, friends, enemies. Lovers? <laughs> hey, there she is. Yeah, she and AJ go way back. Yeah, they, they seem close. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they were Gretel and Kurt together in The Sound of Music way back in the day. That kind of bond is forever. Thank you. So... It doesn't matter. I don't care. <laughs> How do I explain that if she gets in the way and get them break up, I will actually thank her. So I do not care about the... I mean, I care about the drama that might create, you know what I mean? But like... I, and also I thought that I saw her before, I was like, oh my god, try to remember who she is. I thought it was Lily for a moment. <laughs> and she's not. The director will kick off the auditions in just a moment. Corbin Blue! Woo! 
Yeah, it's not actually him. Uh, but the thing is... How old is that girl? Because she's in college. He's a senior. So... I'm just asking about the age. Because it's completely different from my country, you know? Ow. Oh, ouch. Jay, come on, you need to tell everyone you're directing the show. Oh, okay. Ashlyn. I wanted to offer my services in hair and makeup. Avi, I'll, I'll be auditioning too, but back at East. Oh, I've got it covered. Oh, you don't want any help? I mean, teamwork makes a dream work, right? <laughs> well, I've always done it myself. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? <laughs> we can go back and forth with phrases like this all day. <laughs> So she doesn't need the help, okay. It's just been so long since I've had to make new friends. I just, uh, I don't quite know what I'm doing this summer. Oh, okay, I get it. Look, it's difficult for me as well to make friends, you know? And I'm having, I'm having this major LGBT feeling about her. <laughs> Our huge fans. We basically memorized all your TikToks. Oh. Yeah. It is very cool. <laughs> Are you both auditioning? Yes. Well, maybe. From this moment on, you two aren't even friends. You're the competition. Oh, shit. <laughs> What'd I tell hmm. you? No! We are ready! It is time to introduce you to your director, Rockin' Man himself, EJ Caswell! <laughs> Look at Ashling. Slow clapping. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> It doesn't have to be a snowman. <laughs> We used to be best buddies. Frozen time, let's go! Now <laughs> that's tradition. Yeah, that's tradition, Where's yeah. Mr. Blue? No, Mr. Blue, what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> the fuck what, what are you, you doing? wearing? For those of you who I technically know, today you're not Wildcats. Today, you're a bunch of blank canvases, strangers to me. Today, we've never met. Maybe don't talk. Yeah. No, don't say that. Don't discourage him. He was doing great. There'll be music. There'll be light. What are you wearing? I'll be dancing yeah. through the night. <laughs> I won't be alone. Gina is in love. I am so happy this is finally out in the open. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nini, what, what do you think of California, huh? Have you um, seen any celebrities? Or... Oh, um, you know, he's a sperm donor. You look. Thank God, you look nothing. You look nothing like him. That—that's a guy from Mo Modern Family. I know him. You know what I, I thought? Let's say our favorite color at the same time. Three, two, one. Black? Green. Well, see, I mean, that's not so far off. Do you that's consider that both off. colors are visible? <laughs> yeah. Your 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 moms and I were kind of a big deal oh, in yes. the early. Ots LA music scene. Oh, no, come wait, on. Wait, what? We had, that's so rich. We had one song that got a little bit of airplay. Oh, what was the song? And what was the band name? How come you guys are just telling me this now? <laughs> okay. You never know. You never know. What was the song? Oh my god. University Clowns was the band. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, audition started over an hour ago. It's okay. Everyone's welcome to try out. Nobody's judging you. Come on. I mean, nobody's expect like everybody's for looking at. First time in forever. I'm getting huh? what I'm dreaming of. Yes. Whoa. Incredible! Hey, are you kidding me? Arriving late to auditions with a bang, blowing everyone away, mm, pretending he's not a theater kid. He's like a little Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Jens aren't built in a day. We greet and you have help, right? You have Val. 
Oh, Val. Why not? No, you won't. <laughs> they have the best I just cannot vibe. Believe university clowns. But I promise you, Nini, the best is yet to come. That's sweet. Um, I'm I'm really glad we got to meet again. Uh, I was I was afraid it might uh, throw you off. You never know, <laughs> Guys, Maddox is great. She just wants all of us to bond and be friends and go along with her cool rituals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's harmless. Oh, she's a witch? Oh, why will she be a witch? I'm so stupid. Are you going to steal the cast list, Carlos? Watch. What do you do? Okay, guys, so that was the end of season three, episode two of High School Musical, the musical, the series. And it was a great episode. It was a great episode. Uh, Ricky and Gina had a moment and they were starting over, right? No chocolates, no drama. No hugs and unsaid truths. Right. We believe them. We don't. Drama always finds its way into theater kits. I know this from experience. I have watched six, seven seasons. I don't know how many seasons were there of Glee. So, drama will follow. I'm, I'm sure of it. And also, you know, I kind of like the fact that... um. The Rick is here, one, yes. Um, and I like the fact that, you know, they make them talk and allow them to be cute uh, without necessarily forcing anything. Why? Because with Ricky and Gina, it never feels forced. EJ and Gina, on the other hand, they can have, you know what it, what it, 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 what it is? Is that they could be such good friends for one another. They could be there for one another. There has there was absolutely no need for a romantic relationship. You know, they can be there for each other. That is that is the one thing that I feel bad about and that I will, you know, not like to see their friendship ending when because I'm saying when, not if, uh, when arena happens, you know, because it will happen. I have it, like, it's in my soul. I can feel it. I can feel it, so it will happen. Uh, so hear me out. They are good friends. They, like, you can't deny that. I am not going to sit here, and I'm going to be completely oblivious to the fact that EJ and Gina make good friends. They're good friends. They're really, really good friends. Added the fact that now they're holding hands and kissing each other, blah, blah, blah. But they support each other. They understand each other. It, it's great, you know, because newsflash. Not because you have a partner, not because you have a, you're in, involved romantically with a person. That doesn't mean that you don't get to have a best friend that is your, from the opposite gender or whatever. It doesn't mean absolutely, like, like the fact that EJ and Gina are such good friends, and right now boyfriend and girlfriend, yes, granted. But that doesn't mean that when that relationship is over, that I don't want to see their friendship. But as that, I want to see the friendship because they are so good as that, that the addict fact of, um of them being a, 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 a couple, is it just, is is is, is dumb. They didn't need to be a couple to have this same storyline. Because they could be there for each other. You know what I mean? In this very moment where they are both figuring themselves out. So in my opinion, I still believe that it's stupid. That since Gina was single and EJ happened to be single, they put them together. Because there, there was absolutely no other reason. 
to put them together. There, I said it. Um, but also, you can't deny the glances Gina gives my boy Ricky. Ooh, you can't deny them. You can't deny. Look. If there was nothing going on, and if there was nothing that was going to happen between them, okay, you will not be awkward. Like, there were, they, they, they shouldn't be any reason for them to be awkward with one another, yet they are. Why? Because there's something more there. You know it. I know it. We know it. They might not know it yet. Gina might have a, f a clue. But you know what I mean. It's meant to be. What it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And it will happen. I am I am sure of this. It will happen. You just you just wait. You just wait. You just wait. Anyways, what else happened on the episode? Well, auditions, right? Um everyone like Jet kicked it. Kicked ass. You know, kind of stole the that breaking in and, and singing and, you know, leaving everybody in awe. Uh, but he's he's reserved. He has his own thing. He said he didn't want to sing, you know, and it's fine. It's completely fine, you know. Um, I'm glad that we have new characters to explore and to get to know. Um, I think that's wonderful. And like, I cannot wait to see his story unravel. Another story! that I want to see on Rabble is Maddox, right? Because, like, I thought she was a witch f for a second. I don't know why. I just, I, I don't know. But also, I feel like she, I think she might be queer. I don't know. Um, maybe, possibly, I think she is. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know? Um... Am I? Yeah, I have that vibe from her. But other than that, she's weird as well in the sense of like, and I understand her because I'm the same. Like, making new friends. She says that there was a person that she was closer to, but they, they don't talk anymore. And she used the they, they are, and like, she didn't specify a gender. Because if it was a boy, he will have said he, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just projecting the fact that I feel like she's, she's, you know. Anyways. Um, but it's, it's a difficult thing for her to connect with people. I understand that. And also maybe because, like, she can or she doesn't want to be getting attached because, like, kids come and go. And, like, you know, she's the constant here. And she doesn't want to, you know, let go of that. I don't know. She may be... A little bit like Ricky not liking change and things like that. So that's the reason why she keeps up the traditions and all of that. So, yeah. Uh, then Courtney <laughs> represents me so much in the fact that she is like going into withdrawals because she doesn't have her phone. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, oh, and then we have Nini who I thought, oh, we're not going to see her again in like maybe two, three episodes because she's, I guess... Uh, appearance, but uh, I guess she's a guest appearance that will appear in every episode, which is fine. I don't hate Nini. I like Nini. I thought she was gone. That's just what I assume. But, you know, wrong for me for assuming. Uh, she met the sperm uh, donor, if you want to call it that, or you want to call it biological... I still see, I don't, I don't want to call him biological father, because he is not a father to her, right? And I like that she took it very chill. She has known the man before, you know. Um, and for her, she has her parents. Those parents are her moms. And she has a love. She has the, you know, there, there's no need for her to look into, you know, the sperm donor. That was all he was, you know. Um, and it's okay. And it's okay that he was chill. I, I know that he was trying to connect with her. She was like, okay, you know, this random dude that my moms know. Uh, she was way more excited when she found out that there is a musical background to her family. Her moms actually were part of a band with with the guy as well. Uh, and they almost play at the uh, what it could have been the first 
Coachella, um, which is a big deal because music is a big deal for her, you know. So that was kind of cute for us to find out and, you know, to see Nini uh, realizing more, growing and learning more things. That is always amazing, you know. And, and also because it was it is a plus, even if it might not feel like it, it is a plus to see uh, Nini, you know. So I'm happy about that. Um, anyways, what else happened on the episode? I think that was a, that was about it. Uh, people are a little bit weird, weird out about Maddox, but I, I, I really, I know she's growing on me. I, mostly because I think, uh, she represents me in the, you know, awkward way of not making new friends or not knowing how to, and the queerness. <laughs> anyways. Uh, but I liked this episode. I really did enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoy my reaction for it as well. We're here this season to collect Rina as an endgame couple. I am ready. I am ready. So let's see. I am ready because I feel it. I can feel it. There is no way back from this. Nini's gone. Gina is still has a feelings for Ricky. That look. And Ricky as well, because, like, I feel like he's going to figure it out this season. My voice is low, you know? <laughs> so, he will figure it out this season. I, I know this. I know this. So, anyways, I'm excited. Like I said, I cannot wait for the next episode. Um, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am. So, please, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Anka reaction is always posted first on Patreon. In case you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. As always, um, I react to the show first on Patreon. So by the time this is actually edited for YouTube, I'm already done with the season. Because right now on YouTube, I'm on episode I have, well, I have an edit, um, but I have posted episode seven of season two. And we are in season three. So. That's how far ahead we are. So anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for High School Musical, the musical, the series. That's it. I did miss Miss Jen though. And what did Carlos do? Let's see. Him. Let's wait and find out. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye guys.